far offshore, in a remote area of the Pacific Ocean called the Clarion Clipton Zone, on a vast underwater desert, sits the world's largest known source of battery metals. Trillions of polymetallic nodules have formed here over millions of years, as metals from seawater have deposited around grains of sands or fragments of shell, growing into potato-sized rocks that rest unattached to the seafloor. We're now developing the capability to responsibly recover these remarkable rocks. The process will begin with our collector, designed to pick up nodules from the seafloor with minimal disturbance. Our flow lift system is designed to aim a jet of water at the nodules along the seafloor and then channel and lift the nodules inside the collector. The system will also lift around five centimeters of seafloor mud, which will be separated from the nodules inside the collector and returned back to the seafloor. Most of the mud particles will settle within tens to hundreds of meters from where they were picked up, while the finest particles may travel up to thousands of meters. Our adaptive management system, a mix of deep sea ecological data, marine sensors, and cloud-based AI will create a digital twin of our operating environment. This system will enable us to monitor what's happening in real time and give eyes and ears into our offshore operations to the regulator and stakeholders. With this information, we can adapt to stay within acceptable operating boundaries. Next, the nodules, as well as seawater and a small amount of residual mud, will travel upward on compressed air bubbles through a steel pipe to a production vessel. Once aboard, these nodules will be separated from the riser water, along with any excess nodule and mud particles, which will be returned to a depth below 1,200 meters. The nodules will then get transferred to a shuttle carrier and head to shore. Here they'll be offloaded onto a conveyor and into a portside plant powered by clean energy. Inside the plant, the nodules will be first heated in a rotary kiln and then melted in an electric arc furnace. The melted mass separates into two streams, a manganese silicate product that goes into production of manganese alloys and an alloy that contains the nickel, copper, and cobalt needed for electric vehicle batteries. Using a multi-step hydrometallurgical refining process, these battery metals will be recovered from the alloy and turned into the metals needed to transition away from fossil fuels. We expect that the entirety of each nodule's mass can be turned into products. The plant will be designed to produce zero solid waste. In the future, the plant will be able to recover these same metals from end-of-life batteries and return them into circulation again and again for many generations to come.